Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan Shelley and you're watching the SMA Marketing Minute. Today we're actually going to do a brief tutorial of how we actually start the keyword research process. Um, keyword research can be very, very intense and in depth, um, but we're just going to give you a peek under the hood of how we do it and how we kind of get started. Um, kind of the first steps we take into targeting the right keywords for our clients, um, even for our own website. Uh, we're, we're going to be using this free tool. It's a keyword research template, which you can download below. Um, this is going to help you keep things organized, but also help make sure that you're going after terms that are not just high in volume, uh, low in competition, but also very relevant to your website. Um, that's really important. We want to make sure that we keep things as relevant as possible. So we're going to use our website as an example, smamarketing.net, and we want to make sure that we are targeting keywords that are going to um, drive traffic for business owners and people who are looking for either a new website design or, or a comprehensive inbound marketing plan that's going to drive traffic. One of the tools that we, we start off with always is AdWords Keyword Planner. It's a free tool from Google which you can use to do a number of things. You can search for new keywords using a phrase, a website, or a category. You can multiply your keyword list to get new keyword ideas. Um, but really what we're just going to be using it for right now is to look at some search volume data and trends. A lot of times people come to us and they say, hey, I want to, want to rank for X. Um, and we start to do some research on that term or phrase and we find that nobody's using that. Well, we'd be wasting our time if we developed our plan around a keyword that nobody's actually searching for. So this is going to help us give us a better idea of what people are actually searching for and how we can start to build a campaign around that. So you probably see this little thing, none of my ads are running. I'm actually not doing any uh, SEM through Google AdWords. I'm using a service called Bright Info. Um, which I have a case study I really recommend you checking out after we're done with our keyword research because this is extremely important. So what you can do is, is enter keywords here. If you have a list, you can upload it. I, I pre-made a list um, in just a Word document right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these lists, this, this list of keywords and keyword phrases into here. Um, just one per line. That's all you got to do. Once you're done, click this button, get search volume. What this is now doing is it's kind of running uh, just a list through, through the Google searches and seeing how many average monthly searches are, are, are being done around that particular keyword. What's the competition? Um, what's the suggested bid price if you're doing AdWords? But really, we want to look at the average monthly searches and the competition. Those are two very um, key pieces of information. Once you've ran your, your keywords through this list, click this download button. And we want to be in an Excel file. So download, save it. So now we got this uh, nice Excel file from our friends over at Google with a lot of information, right? Um, it's got the ad group. We don't have an ad group. Um, it tells us the currency. So a number of pieces of information that we really aren't going to need for our keyword planner template. Um, the three columns that we're going to need are keywords, average monthly searches, and the competition. Before you saw it said low, medium, high. Well, this actually breaks it down even further and kind of tells you how um, competitive that keyword is. One is 100%, so that's like really, really high. So anything um, below that, so you can kind of see like point um, eight, uh, eight, nine. that's a really, really competitive keyword. Um, but then you have something like point one, one, which is not so competitive. So the first thing we want to do is copy all of the keywords. <laughs> And we'll just go ahead and paste them right into here. The next thing we want to do is get our monthly search volume. Paste it into volume. Now you're starting to see this list over here starting to populate, right? Um, it's starting to take uh, into account how long the keyword is as well as how much traffic that keyword gets per a month. Now let's take a look and copy our competition. We'll paste that right into here. Now after that, you're done with this exported file from Google, so you can close it out. Um, you can save it if you want to. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. So what we have now, we have our keywords all lined here. We have the average monthly search volume in the competition. The length is already being pulled for us as well, determining how long. Maybe it's a one word like SEO, or we've got you know search engine optimization, which is a, a little bit more of a long-tailed keyword. The next step is to kind of go through and determine the relevancy of these key terms. We use a scale between 1 to 10. 1 is not relevant at all. 10 is exactly what we're going after. So I'll go ahead and pull some of these terms up. Um, kind of start to assign them different 
levels of relevancy based on really who we're trying to target. This is where your judgment's going to come into play because you're going to want to make sure that you look at also search volume. If there's no traffic, like if it's a 10, 10 really means zero, 10 and 20, those are really not, 20 you can go after, but 10, just, just get rid of those in your list. Um, our, my industry has a lot of searches, obviously you can see, so a lot of these keywords are going to pull a lot of traffic, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to rank for them. It just means that these are some keywords that I can target or also spin off and create variations like web design, Melbourne, Florida, um, you know, that, cause that's where we're located where we can kind of start to even take these really broad terms and make them even more long, t more long tailed. So once you've kind of gone through this whole list and added all of the stuff that you need to add in here to make sure that you are going to find the keywords that are most relevant to your site, we're going to reorganize this list. And what we want to organize this list by is results because that's going to give us the best case scenario. In order to do that, you just kind of go up here to data, sort, uh, column, results, largest to smallest. What this is going to do is it's actually going to categorize our keywords from largest to smallest. It's going to tell us which ones we should place the most emphasis on. So you should have about at least 50, if not more, keywords in this list. Go through these steps, run the data, and then this top 10 to 30 are really the ones you want to focus on right away, where you want to start to look at and to develop content around, because those are the keywords that are going to drive traffic to your site. Hope you guys found this quick tutorial helpful. If you have any questions on the keyword research template or keyword research or SEO or inbound marketing, please shoot me an email at ryan at smamarketing.net. Hope, uh, hope to see you guys next week, and thanks for watching. Happy marketing.